Blackbeard may have three balls, but he has no brain. With the power to eat multiple devil fruits, he could have picked much more deadly combos. So in this video, I'll be going over the 10 most powerful devil fruit combos that Blackbeard could have used. I'll be ranking these fruits based on how hard they are to counter, not necessarily by their utility or raw power. All right, at number 10, we have the clear clear fruit and the calm calm fruit, making you a stealth stealth man. Using these two fruits, you'd be completely unrecognizable. Kind of like how your crush sees you normally. It's not a perfect pairing though. We do know that invisibility can be overcome if there's liquids on the user so making them bleed or popping a bottle of champagne in the fight would be an easy counter. So while this combo might not be the best in a 1v1 battle, it makes you the perfect assassin. For anyone without observation hockey, you're gonna be impossible to notice. But unless you're blind, it's gonna be impossible not to notice our next combo. At number 9, we have the giant giant fruit plus the golden buddha fruit, making you a golden buddha giant to the power of two man. Is your girlfriend Usopp? Because when she told you size doesn't matter, she lied. I'll admit, there's no real synergy with these fruit but the sheer power you get from being a giant giant buddha is crazy if you ate this fruit you'd be the biggest thing in one piece okay maybe the second biggest thing i'd put this higher but there's a way to counter size luffy showed this in wano when he fisted kaido in his giant form which is why we'll put luffy at eight with his hito hito nika fruit and the chop chop fruit making you a chop rubber man these fruits complement each other's weakness perfectly luffy is resistant to blunt hit but weak to slashing attacks while Buggy is resistant to slashing attacks, but weak to hits from the blunt. Like you can't give him the za, he'll genuinely start tweaking out. The parallels don't stop there though. We all know Luffy loves to eat and get stronger when he has meat in his mouth, while Buggy loves to give himself head and gets weak with his meat in his mouth. Even without Gear 5, this combo would be crazy because Buggy's fruit is immune to hockey. At least that's what it seemed like when he took an all-out attack from Fraud Hawk at Marineford. Yeah, Mihawk didn't really have the best showing at Marineford compared to other characters like Blackbeard and Marco, which happened to be our two fruits for the number 7 spot. The Dark Dark and phoenix phoenix fruit will make you a dark phoenix man blackbeard is one of the strongest characters in the series because he can suck you dry and his devil fruit can also suck your life force it does have a major flaw that he takes double the damage from attack if he paired this with marco's fruit he'd remove that limitation and maybe be able to hold his own against s fraud i really wonder why he didn't kill marco and steal the fruit in the grudge war this pairing would have made him op but not as op as the op op fruit and the hobby hobby fruit which is our number six spot if you had these two fruits you'd be a total Boy maker man which doesn't sound too bad but in a society where kids are playing more and more with technology and less with physical toys is a scary job to have anyways the synergy of these two fruits works perfectly as you can teleport them right next to you and touch them to make them a toy and if you're anything like me you're gonna turn them into an adult toy use them and then leave them scarred but really there's not much you can do to counter this unless you have future sight or your hockey is strong enough to avoid being toyed around with because if you're up against a hockey man you're gonna be like law in punk hazard who couldn't teleport virgo and had to throw hands. Although you could argue that the best throw in the series is Vander Decken, which is why at number five, we have the Mark Mark fruit and the Magma Magma fruit. This would make you a firewall aimbot man. This fruit is a funny combo because Vander Decken is an old man following a trap girl, while Sokka Zucchini is a trap fleet admiral and follows older men. Combining these fruits would give you an instant hit, which is definitely a crazy ability in itself, but when you pair that with the most offensive devil fruit in the series, you get a tracking one shot. Yes, it's true that you would also need to physically touch the opponent for this to work, but I have this higher than law and sugars as you can't block it with hockey. But who needs to block an attack when you can just tank it and get stronger? which is why at number four we have monkey rouge's fruit and the dark dark fruit making you a stat converter man any damage you take with monk's fruit makes you stronger and blackbeard's fruit makes you take two times the damage of regular people therefore if you took double the damage you'd be twice as likely to be dead but before you die you'd be insanely strong and if you could land some hits with this buff you'd be very difficult to deal with this pairing is kind of a wild card because you are a glass cannon so you could break easily if only your glass was made out of bartos barrier then you'd be unbreakable which coincidentally is our number three pick along with the venom venom fruit both of these fruits are extremely hard to deal with since bartos barrier can't be broken with hockey and only a handful of people know how to cure magellan's poison there's really not a lot of counters to this combo well unless magellan himself or you tell Barto you love Luffy. And now that I say that out loud, I guess those are both very common slash easy things to do. Maybe this combo needs to be pushed down. We can push it down with the Paw Paw Fruit, which is taking our number two spot in conjunction with the Hana Hana no Mi, making you a Flower Paw Man, which is probably the least menacing name out of all the combinations. But don't let the name fool you. There's so many ways you could use these two devil fruits. Some of my favorite ways would have to be sprouting your hands and paws on the enemy's feet so that they continue to jump every time they touch the ground 
Or you could expel the pain from your body and use your sprouting hands around the room to keep pushing the pain till it hits the enemy. It's like a pinball of pain, but instead of lights flashing on the screen, lights are gonna flash from the person's eyes when it hit. And you can make the lights go out even faster with our number one spot, the light light fruit and the slow slow fruit, making you a fast slow man. If light speed attacks weren't bad enough to deal with, try dodging them when you're moving at the speed of Wano's pacing. Even with future sight, you won't be able to react to the attacks when you're slowed down, so your hockey is gonna be about as useful as getting directions from Zoro, which is why the best devil fruits with the slowest users end up taking the top spot. And that's the list. Comment any devil fruit combination that you think would be overpowered. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subtract a few minutes of your day and click the subscribe button. Thanks!